Today's video is an update about my knife collection. That's knife collector here. Welcome to my channel, my name is Henk. In today's video I will show you some new additions and at the end I will show some knives that might disappear this evening, this very day. First of all, I did a trade. Last week I already announced it. I did a trade with a German guy. I don't know if I can mention his name, so I, I won't, because, uh, due to uh, privacy. So I did a trade. Uh, I traded three of my Martin Onegarn folding knives. And I got these back, these, these two. The first is a knife, is a slip joint, Grand Forcé system. Not a slip joint, it's a Grand Forcé, so non-locking system. But a very sturdy way of keeping the knife in place. Grand Forcé is explained in several videos. Uh, if you don't know what Grand Forcé is, just ask me in the comments and I will explain it. And this is a very beautiful one. So full-sized folding knife with Timascus, with wooden inlays, file work all around, Timascus clip, uh, worn cliff blade, and it really is very sturdy, so it won't close on you by accident. Grand Forcé doesn't have a half stop and it's it's a very safe secure system i really like this one i'm not a big fan of worn cliffs but i really like this one great ergos great fit to finish as always with martin next one this is a flipper by martin also with Tamascus, carbofiber file work, Tamascus clip, strong detent and it flies out, it's a clip point and this is really all, uh, this is really my type of knife. I really like clip points, I like tentos, and of course draw points because they are very useful but clip points and tentos I like the most I don't know why it's just preference aesthetical preference and this is a awesome knife full-sized great ergos and as always great fit to finish so I'm very happy to get these then also in the trade involved was this one, Hinderer Spanto 3.5 inch, and this is with custom scales and custom hardware with scales. It's uh, black and grey, a little bit of silvery on the scales and really very nice. Not a strong detent, but it flips very good. Steel insert, and well, just a good knife. This one will be up for sale. I'm just not a big hinderer fan, but so this one will be up for sale. Great knife. And also involved in the trade was this one. Maybe some of you will recognize it. This is Russian made. This is a full custom of Shiburkov with Damascus blade. And the Damascus blade, the Damascus is forged by uh, Damascus uh, blades. Uh, Damascus Smith. Uh, he lives in the neighborhood of Shiburkov 
and uh, he often uses the Damascus forged by this smith, this blacksmith. This has camel bone scales, titanium frame, camel bone uh, spacer, lanyard attachment. Uh, it's a very nice knife. Uh, very smooth, great ergos, full sized. I think it's almost four inch. Maybe it is four inch. And I really dig this design. So very happy with the trade. And then last week I uploaded a video uh, about Alessio Salsi. Alessio Salsi, Italian Belgium knife maker. Very sick, very ill. Seriously ill. And I left with two knives made by him. This one, a very small EDC knife, neck knife, uh, with uh, beautiful Damascus end cap. This is really a very useful EDCable little knife. And then I had a bullfrog leather sheet at home made by my buddy Hans, who was also in that video. And it fits just perfectly in the sheet, matches the colors, so I'm very happy with this little EDCable neck knife. Awesome little knife. And then Alessio is also known for his Pucos. And I got this Puco. Beautiful leather work with a wooden insert. With a dangle loop so you can attach it to your belt. And then the Puco itself is beautifully made with the Damascus steel. Uh, I, don't, I forgot the name of the wood. Beautifully engraved, uh, gives a lot of grip. Uh, mammoth ivory bolster and, and end cap. Spacers, also leather spacers. So this is beautifully made. And this one already was subject of a test video. I think you can still see that it is dirty. That video will be up very soon. Here you see the maker's mark of Alessio. Uh, great knife and this one did the test perfectly. This is such a well crafted knife. Really well crafted. So hard use Puko. So those are the new additions. Uh, let me clean the table and replace these with some other knives. So, one of my buddies uh, was looking for another knife, maybe for his daughter, maybe for himself. And he found out I had some variations on the Benchmade Ruckus. And he found out I had a special edition of the, uh, of the bug out. So he will visit me this evening and probably one of these, or maybe two of these, will leaving the collection. The first one is a big ruckus, the full size ruckus, Blackwood design, Neil Blackwood design. And this is just an awesome knife, F30V, big knife, big sturdy folder, hard use knife, access lock, great knife. And I hate to see it leave, I hate to see one of these leave, or two of these leave, but you can't keep it all. Next one, this is an assisted version of the Ruckus, the small variety. All black one with uh, partially serrated blade, awesome action, assisted, uh, great knife, 
but you can't keep them all. This one, another variation of the ruckus, also with a spring to open it, also partially serrated blade, just awesome knife, but you know, you can't keep them all. And then the bug out, I did a video on this one. And I think it's an awesome knife, knife, really awesome knife, lightweight, very useful, very beautiful, with carbon fiber and I, I forgot the name of the honeycomb uh, blue inlay, uh, I forgot, but it's, it's awesome. Great action, uh, but I thought it was too expensive when you have to buy this new, but so you can't keep them all so one of these or maybe two maybe more will leave my collection okay this was a quick one it's very hot outside uh, and it now starts to beginning beginning to get hot inside as well so I call it today I will wrap this up I hope to see you next time by the way uh, my wife her problem isn't solved already so I still uh, have some problems, uh, I, I solved a little bit of it, but I hope next week I will solve it all. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of my new additions and what you think of one of these leaving my collection. Is it stupid of me or do you understand it or whatever? Let me know. I'm very curious. Okay, that's it for now. Bye-bye.